Hey everybody, today we're playing Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, what's kind of fun about this game is that it's brought to you by Rare, and they're more traditionally known for their platformers like Donkey Kong, Banjo-Kazooie, and even Conker. So with this one, they tried something a little bit different. Now obviously, Mortal Kombat is kind of the, the bigger known title, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, and Killer Instinct has a lot of really fun horror monsters as playable characters. For instance, you've got a little skeleton guy, you've got Thunder, which isn't at all a racist stereotype, you've got Iceman from the X-Men, Cinder, there's Saber Wolf, there's a little raptor dude. Ah, I'm gonna play the raptor this time. Riptor! Yeah, the voiceover guy is great. Ready. Riptor! Work it! <laughs> okay, look who's gonna stand there. <laughs> I don't know why the dinosaur bleeds purple. So one thing that's kind of different as well is, like Mortal Kombat, you do have the two rounds of fighting, but whatever your health carryovers from the first round. So if you win the first round and you have a little bit of health left, you start the second round with that health as like a, a little bit of a leg up. Come on, so close. Finish her off. Yes! <laughs> and the ultimate finishing attack. Nice. All right. Now, Killer Instinct was originally planned to be ported to the Nintendo 64, but then it was instead released on the Super Nintendo, kind of near the end of its lifestyle. Ready. Fighting Juggle. Stop jumping. Yeah, get him the tail. <laughs> ah. Well, I am gonna run out of health way before he does, but... Oh, that was cool. That was like half-circle back attack. And I just keep spitting loogies at him. <laughs> oh, nice! Kind of cheesed him a little bit there, but eh. Speed qualify. Cinder. Cinder. Let's see if I can figure out any other special moves. Well, it looks like I can only pull up that special move when it feels like it. It's interesting too, because usually when you have digitized actors, it's to portray the certain realism that's more difficult to catch with these sprites, but I have like a digitized raptor actor, which is an interesting sort of sprite. 
All right, well, Riptor, you held your own pretty well. Let's check out Saber Wolf. <laughs> His voice is great. Cinder! <laughs> and kids eat still just five bucks! Come on, you. Got a nice combo going. Uh oh. He slightly changed colors, whatever that's about. Come on, Saber Wolf. We almost got him. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, we were so close. Nice finishing move. Let's see, who have we not tried out yet? All right, Mr. Spinal. <laughs> Come on, Spinal. We can do it. I do like that he actually fights with a sword. That uh, Jago character has a sword on his back that he like barely uses. Oh man. Come on. That jump kick that he does is pretty brutal. Because if you're in the air, he can hit you from pretty far away. <laughs> Just smack him with a shield. Oh, come on. We're so close. Poke him, poke him. Found somebody could finally beat him. Now we're gonna take on Iceman. Glucius. Oh, that's fair. Hey, stop that T-1000 nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's exactly fair using a character who has a, a weapon. It does give you quite a bit more reach. <laughs> I know that some of these characters have supernatural powers and whatnot, but... In general, that just seems a little unfair that <laughs> I'm using a character with a weapon. Oh no! Finish mop, finish mop. So close! Ah, oh. that was a close one. Curse you, Glacius! All right, well let's try Cinder against Glacius, just because that seems funny to me. Cinder! Oh, wow. He just uppercut me before I had a chance to move. Hmm. 
<laughs> I feel like Glacius is, is fighting way more aggressively since I chose the fire guy. <laughs> I can't even get close to him. Come on. <laughs> Stop jumping around. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I guess that might be time to call it. Again, guys, that was Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Definitely an interesting sort of creature. It, it was coming in after Mortal Kombat had laid its claim and was dominating for so long. And rather than try to come in and, and try to outdo it with more gore, because that was kind of the controversial thing about Mortal Kombat, it, it kind of brought its own thing. It was this sort of monster madness of sorts of these different creatures. You had the the Ray Harryhausen skeletons and you had your Teen Wolf, you know, and then you had your fire monster and ice monster and just this great, great mashup of all these different classic monster movie characters and it was it's very very fun and then that killer soundtrack i've actually been in video game stores that'll just have this game just sitting as like the demo unit just to have the soundtrack playing over and over again it was a uh, it was quite a fun one to play growing up but hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one <laughs>